we were talking about hypoxia what is hypoxia hypoxia is reduced delivery of oxygen to that tissues to be very very straight reduced supply of oxygen to the tissue enzymes or reduced utility of oxygen by the tissue enzymes that's a very exact definition conceptually speaking right again if someone develops hypoxia what could be the causes causes may be in atmospheric oxygen let me give you an example if you go very high on altitude right the atmospheric pressure become less and oxygen percentage in the air becomes yes. it does not become less this is a wrong concept even at a very high mountains percentage of oxygen is 21 percent problem is that atmospheric pressure is less so oxygen pressure in alveoli become less the pressure which drives the oxygen through whole system is less even if you go to high mountains oxygen is still around 21 20 percent is that right so it is not the reduced oxygen really it is the reduced atmos atmospheric pressure so air becomes thin but as far as percentage is concerned oxygen is still 20 to 21 percent is that right so actually we can say that percentage of oxygen at high levels high altitude is normal but because of reduced atmospheric pressures supply of atmospheric oxygen to the lungs is reduced is that right or sometimes it happens that yes in operation theta when you have anesthetized your patient you are giving mixture of different gases if by mistake while giving anesthesia gases you reduce the oxygen percentage less than 21 percent you are exposing your patient to the risk of hypoxia is that right so hypoxia may be due to this reasons or here when there is airway obstruction you must have heard of the disease called asthma in asthma what happened there is generalized bronchoconstriction so naturally uh, oxygen supply to the alveoli will be reduced is that right and eventually hold down the system oxygen supply will be reduced we can move forward cause number three maybe someone has taken some drug which depresses the neurons in medulla for example you have taken toxic doses of morphine right they depress the medulla and inspiratory drive become less or there is some disease which produces demyelination of neurons right demyelination of the nerves and neurons which are moving the intercostal muscles and diaphragm if these are demyelinated and these nerves are dysfunctional like i mean phrenic nerves and intercostal nerves they are dysfunctional in spite of normal oxygen outside in spite of the open you can say airways you cannot maintain ventilation is that right so there may be problem with medulla or problem may be with the nerves like demyelination gyan bare syndrome you know or you don't know anyway there may be problem with the muscles myasthenia gravis muscles are not neuromuscular junctions are not functional and respiratory effort is less producing the hypoxia to the patient or move forward problem with this exchange area gas transfer area maybe it is too thick and fibrotic or it may be it is destroyed in a disease called do you know any disease in which this exchange area is destroyed emphysema emphysema in emphysema there is excessive destruction of septa right interalveolar septa then there can be everything is okay here problem start beyond that right what is problem here that maybe hemoglobin level is so low that in spite of supply of oxygen up to the blood level is normal your blood is unable to carry enough oxygen that may produce anemic hypoxia is that right then you can come to the left heart if someone has a failing left heart and her left heart is producing very little cardiac output so naturally if there is very little cardiac output it means blood is circulating very poorly especially if there is biventricular failure left heart fails as well as right heart fails if circulation is very very slowly moving naturally uh, blood is taking longer in the tissues time and total per minute supply of blood to the tissues is reduced and of course then oxygen supply is also reduced or there may be problem with the 
selective tissue hypoxia that a particular tissue has either its arterial supply blocked by a thrombus classical example is coronary artery in the coronary artery there is thrombus and you may develop ischemia or hypoxia in the myocardium is that right or you may develop a problem that venous outflow from a tissue is blocked for example if renal vein is thrombosed if renal vein is thrombosed then naturally blood flow going to the kidney is not maintained well is that right or eventually in the end if enzymes fail right like cyanide poisoning so this concept is clear that next time in your life when you think of hypoxia you have to think of this diagram from top to down problem may be anywhere right now we classify hypoxia according to classical fashion as usually it is defined in most of the books there are four types of hypoxia mechanisms of hypoxia we'll talk later hypoxia yes first of all we'll talk about the types of hypoxia yes who will tell me the types of hypoxia number one is hypoxic hypoxia number one group is hypoxic hypoxia hypoxic hypoxia include all those causes of hypoxia in which there is problem either with the atmosphere or inspired air or problem with the airways or problem with the gas exchange or problem with ventilation perfume mismatches or problem with your neuromuscular apparatus for inspiration expiration actually the real definition of hypoxic hypoxia is that hypoxic hypoxia is a situation in which there is reduced oxygen partial pressure in pulmonary what is this pulmonary veins it means that when blood is passing through the lungs somehow whatever the mechanism blood is not properly oxygenated right if blood is not properly oxygenated right or we say that there is reduced supply of oxygen from the lung to the blood this is considered hypoxic hypoxia it means atmospheric uh, deficiency of oxygen is also part of hypoxic hypoxia obstructive airway disease if airways are obstructed that is also a cause of hypoxic hypoxia if there is respiratory pump is not working due to neuromuscular failure or whatever cause that is again hypoxic hypoxia if diffusion capacity of uh, gases through the lungs is reduced again that is hypoxic hypoxia is that right so hypoxic hypoxia is a hypoxia in which the real problem is that from the lungs oxygen could not be transferred properly to the blood right problem is in this sense then there is next cause of hypoxia and then next cause of hypoxia can be yes that is called anemic hypoxia hypoxia what is anemic hypoxia in which either hemoglobin level is less right either hemoglobin is absolutely deficient or it is dysfunctional because in carbon monoxide poisoning hemoglobin level total hemoglobin level may be normal but carbon monoxide makes a big percentage of hemoglobin dysfunctional which cannot carry oxygen or release oxygen properly so such type of problems in which hemoglobin is either deficient or dysfunctional and cannot transport oxygen and deliver oxygen properly we say there is what type of hypoxia anemic hypoxia right then there can be hypoxia due to problem with the either arterial blockage or due to venous obstruction right in which in a particular tissue circulation becomes stagnant right circulation becomes stagnant right now circulation can be stagnant in two ways either it be generalized stagnation in severe cardiac failure 
the circulation is very sluggish and slow because the heart is not maintaining 5 liters of cardiac output per minute. Maybe heart is failing and producing only 1 liter of cardiac output per minute. So generalized stagnation will occur. Or there may be some localized specific stagnation of circulatory system in a particular tissue. Either due to arterial blockage or due to reduced venous output. Right? Venous blockage. Either it is from lumen thrombosis blocking or it is compressed from outside, some cancer is compressing or whatever. Right? That may produce localized hypoxia. Right? So this type of hypoxia which may be due to impaired, yes, impaired, there is some dysfunction in circulatory system. Some dysfunction in circulatory system. This type of hypoxia, either which is due to congestive cardiac failure, or which is due to some blockage of arterial system or blockage of venous system, uh, because it produces some degree of sluggishness of circulation or stagnation in circulation, so this is called stagnant hypoxia. This is called stagnant hypoxia. This is called stagnant hypoxia. Right? In the end, we are left with the last cause that we have brought the oxygen if successfully through all the system up to the tissue. Right? Oxygen has gone into the cells, but if your enzymes are unable to utilize the oxygen. Right? And that situation will be called what type of hypoxia? Yes. Histotoxic hypoxia. What is that called? Histo toxic hypoxia these are the four basic types of hypoxia classically hypoxia is divided into four types this is hypoxic hypoxia in which oxygen supply to the pulmonary capillary blood is not proper or there is hemoglobin cannot transport that is anemic hypoxia or Blood is properly oxygenized, oxygenated. Hemoglobin is also having good amount of oxygen, but circulation is poor, either throughout the body or in some localized part of the body. That is stagnant hypoxia. And in the end, if tissues are unable to utilize oxygen, and that is called histotoxic hypoxia. Right?